little more in the light. It's called the jumping jack. Yeah, this is jump the jumping jack. This uh, any it's it's set up so any which way you shoot it, there's always something sticking up. So no matter how. Now this you can get at Gunnies. There's three kinds. There's one that's geared for 22s. It's like 25 bucks. This one here is uh, uh, higher than 22, but not rifles. This is 45 dollars. And uh, pretty mo pretty cool. So Ron, you know Yoda over at Gunnies, he said go ahead and shoot this up, bring it back to me. So we're doing a little segment for him to help him out. So go to Gunnies, ask for Yoda, or go check these out. It's pretty cool. And uh, we're gonna. This is Clark. Everybody say hi. Hi. Did and, that come uh, with special instructions that you're not supposed to hold it while people are shooting? No, <laughs> but most of us are smart enough not to do that. The other concern that with this, anytime you're shooting at steel, you want to be back probably 10 yards or so, just in case a piece comes off of here. Now this is brand new. The steel is very hard. It should make the bullet break up to the point that it doesn't hurt. Yeah, this is new. This came right off the floor. It has the price tag on it. It's never been used. Yeah, price so tag's right here. Definitely want to thank Gunnies for that. But, but we have, uh, anytime you're shooting uh, something heavy like this, or steel or whatever, <laughs> you want to make sure that you, you've got it far enough back. Now, over the years in, in shooting at steel targets and other things or on ranges that maybe weren't set up very well, We've seen bounce back that's actually done harm. It makes sure you're shooting straight. I've had some uh, shooting kind of off 45 degrees that have ricocheted off up and hit the rafters in the, up in the, uh, the, the, the uh, pavilion and come down and thump me in the head, and it hurt profusely. Right, so you want to be very careful. Now, the other thing to watch, this heat steel is made to take the impact, so we're probably not going to see any cratering on it. If you shoot it with the wrong ammo or something, it can dent it, it can crater it. If that happens, don't use it anymore. Now, I doubt <laughs> it's going to happen with this. Yeah, it's pretty but heavy. I have seen it happen, and it throws stuff back. Yeah, the problem is when you get cratering or dimpling in there, you get the round to come in, and it'll literally make a U-turn as it goes right through there. And that's no fun. Nobody wants that. No, no U-turns, no U-turns. Yeah. No U-turns with your <laughs> ammo on so, your torque. And, even though we're going to be shooting steel, this is at a this is at a proper angle when it's uh, when it's hit when it's resting on the ground. But any of your backstop, you want to make sure that there's no hard rocks or anything like that in the back that uh, that's going to have ammo coming back at you. Awesome. Okay, so how far? Let's get walk this that out. Set up out here. We'll be shooting it from back there. We're about 20 feet right now, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, we're about oh, about 25 feet. So okay. We'll Are put you going to right go back here farther? In this open area. Oh, right here. Okay. And then we'll back off, and Clark's going to be, I guess he's going to shoot it first. We're going to see if he can hit that sucker. Okay. My guess is he can. I'm not betting against him. No, I think he'll do okay. Okay, it's ready to go. Okay, Clark's going to see if he can uh, make that baby dance. How's this shooting, Steve? Is it dead on? or? It's pretty much dead on. Okay. At that distance, it uh, should be pretty darn close. Ooh, nice. Nice hit. Hit right did, on the bottom of that. Did that hit the Put ground the and ricochet bottom? up, or did you actually hit it? It's hitting about two inches. Yeah, there you go. Now you're on it. Oh, we got it to tip. Nice. Nice work. Oh, right you missed one, I'm telling. That works pretty well. Not bad for a white boy. Yeah, that's um, that's not bad at all. You hit targets like that at that distance with uh, with a little snubby. Now we'll see if we can do it with a with a regular gun here. Okay. You're getting a little sun this way, but now we've got a Glock. Uh, which one you got there? This is the Glock 31. 31, which is a 357 Sig. Except it's got a 40 cal barrel in it. Okay, which is one of the nice things you can do with that. Yeah. Get on. Just ticked it to the right. Blippity doo da. Blippity. My oh my, what a wonderful day. It is, man. It's beautiful today. We 
Are you going to walk it back 10 feet? I should, yeah. A little high and right, looks like. There you go. Did that come back? Oh, that was the case. Oh. Yeah, that was the case. <laughs> no bounce back, but I'm standing over here getting a brass rain. That's why I always wear hats out here. <laughs> nice. That works pretty cool. Good shooting, Tex. And so, it was hard to tell because of the recoil, but that is moving backwards or not? It's moved back probably about a foot. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take the rest of the Fiocchi ammo. See if I can hit the darn thing. Now right, here's another little defensive trick. This is a counterclockwise rotating gun. As I'm loading my single rounds, I'm pushing the cylinder towards the frame. So if I had to close this gun, I could fire it and have rounds coming up. So if it goes counterclockwise, when you fire, when you load, you go clockwise. Yeah, you load it, so <clears throat> I'm rotating this way as I'm putting the rounds in. Nice. All right, we have... To the right. Nice. Oh, my glasses are slipping. That's why I can't hit it. Yeah, I've used that excuse a few times. Okay. There we are. Now you're tiled in. Ow. Slow down. Oop, I just got some in the belly. Yeah, we're getting bounced uh, back. Hang on, stop. Okay, she's, uh, finger straight. And... Okay, here is the jumping jack. Now, I better remember, hold on. So and it's, we shot... It's going to be righty-loosey. Shotguns on it. We shot tidy. 38 yeah. specials. We shot 357 magnums. Shot the heck out of it. This thing held up great. We got no dimpling. We hit the 22s on the edges. Of course, this is rated much higher than 22, but on the edges we hit, we can see all the pellets for shotgun. We got no dimpling whatsoever. This is a really solid piece of work. Really happy that Gunny's uh, lent us this, and uh, we're going to take it back to him and give him a report.